Got another custom TRX 4M build for you guys today. This time we're checking out the new Endura IR40 hard body kit for this thing. But that's not all. We got a whole bunch of new Endura parts that are going to go into this. We got the new carbon fiber universal low center of gravity chassis. We got the new brushed ESC plus four millimeter axles and even got their new radio we're going to run this thing with. This build is loaded with new stuff and it came together extremely well. Probably my favorite TRX 4M build. Possibly one of my most favorite mini crawler builds to date. But let's jump in and check out the parts that went into this thing and then we're going to build it together assembling the chassis kit and the body kit as well and then we're going to run it and see how it does so let's jump in and check it out let's get into this we've got so many good parts to take a look at today i'm so pumped for this build where do we even begin here let's check out the axles first let's look at the axles first so endura just released these 18 scale plus four millimeter complete axle sets for the trx 4ms these were an option before, but Endura has beefed up the design on these and improved them, both from an aesthetic and functionality standpoint. Here's the rear, and here's the front. Now what's cool about these, especially the front, is that we've got a transverse servo mount now. So I love that Endura has incorporated this. We've got an aluminum servo mount here that's going to flip our servo mount horizontally. So no more vertical servo colliding with our frame rails when we articulate. We're going to be able to lay that thing down. We're going to get better weight distribution and functionality with these. Now these axles look great. All aluminum housing. They are complete. They've got steel gears inside. They've maintained the stock ratio on these, but you do get the steel ring and pinion gears from Endura, which are very strong. The housings look great. We've got nice trussing on the top. It gives it a cool scale look and also a lot of strength in these axles stainless steel steering linkage here going to give you great looks that additional width is going to give you extra performance this is going to be a great addition to the build here endura has also released a universal low center of gravity carbon fiber chassis kit now what's cool about this is that it's compatible with all trx 4m models so when the high trail was released just recently it threw some people for a loop because Traxxas has extended the chassis on that to fit the scale truck bodies on it, which means previous TRX 4M chassis kits are not going to fit. But what Endura has done here is they've given us this universal kit here, which not only is going to fit the TRX 4M Bronco and Defender, you've also got these extensions that you can bolt on the back if you want to put it on the new high trails because of their longer wheelbase. So check it out. Here's the chassis all built. Very, very simple installation. ESC tray goes in the back, just kind of slots into place here. Cross members, squeeze it together. You bolt on the front pieces here. You have your bumper mounts front and rear. But this is pretty much it right here. The ESC is going to sit neatly there on the back. Speaking of ESC, it's a good transition here. We're going to use the brand new Endura brushed ESC for this thing. Now this is very exciting. I've been beta testing the prototype and it works excellent so i'm excited to get my hands on the production version for this build this is a great inexpensive esc upgrade for your trx 4m you can use it for the scx 24 as well it's not limited to the trx 4m because as you can see you've got battery plug options for the traxxas batteries or you've got the ph 2.0 connectors for the scx 24 so this is an inexpensive mini crawler ESC compatible with both of those popular models. It's a fully waterproof design. It's got a six volt three amp BEC on it. No adjustability or tunability, but for the price, you can't beat the performance of this thing. It works fantastic. You will need to do an additional receiver upgrade. So this will not work with stock receivers. We're gonna have to upgrade our radio too, which is fine. But this is gonna go right here on the back. Indura has given us Velcro with this kit. So we can do this right now and get this thing ready. So that's going to be our electronic setup there. I am planning on using the Traxxas batteries, so I'm going to plug this in right now. Now let's get into what I've been waiting for the most with this video. This is the new Endura body kit for the TRX 4M. This is the IR40 kit very cool it's got kind of a half cab up front reminiscent of a toyota and we've got our nylon cage is going to go on the rear we've got our grill headlights right there stubby little 
high clearance bumpers and all the necessary hardware. So I'm super pumped for this. My goal is to make kind of a mini Vanquish. So, you know, I've got the Falcon RTR Vanquish VS410 Phoenix, and I think this cab really reminds me of the Phoenix. So my goal is to make a mini Vanquish. I have a feeling it's gonna take on a character of its own though. Regardless, this thing looks fantastic. It comes in a variety of different colors. There's a plastic hard body here. Feels really nice. The paint's good. It's got a nice metallic flake into it. Matte black roof and fender flares. The assembly looks pretty easy, so I'm gonna bring you guys around. Why don't we do this together? We'll put it together. I got the instructions here from Endura, and then we're gonna start assembling this build. So let's build the body kit here, and then we'll keep going. Here we go, let's get into this thing. So the instructions look pretty min minimalistic. There's not a lot to this thing. It looks very simple. I'm gonna set the set cab aside first, and we're gonna build the rear cage by the looks of it. Here's our basic outline here. So we've got kind of the headache rack here is gonna go in the front. These protruding pieces are gonna to go towards the front. Next, we've got our kind of bed rails, side rails here. The peninsula here, the lower part hanging down is gonna go on the bottom. This is gonna be for the roof. And we've got the rear section here with these two tabs gonna go on the bottom. So this is how we're gonna slap this all together. Check it out, there's the complete cage, very solid. It's got a nice, tough, rigid feel to it. I like it a lot. So now we're just going to attach our cab to the cage. So where we've got these four mounting points here. It's gonna be a little tricky to get a driver in here. Hopefully I can reach it. I might have to, the windows out to get to those. We'll see if I can make it work. All right guys, check it out. So I was able to get this work. I was able to sneak my driver in underneath the fenders here to get this situated. The instructions call for the eight millimeter bolts, but I would suggest using the shorter bolts here to attach it because I don't know if you can see that. Running the longer bolts almost pushed through the rear of my cage and now I've got kind of this bubble here. So I'd go the shorter ones if you can. We've got some small assembly steps on the cab itself too. So what I'm doing is putting my grill and my lights on. So you got your black grill cover here. On the inside, you've got your light pods. It also has your body clip on it. So I'm going to attach those here. And even though the windshield and the windows, this is very tightly situated in here, you do want to bolt these down. Just secure these so this thing doesn't pop out. All right, guys, check this out. We're cooking with gas now. So I got the cab set all built. It's got little scale mirrors that pop in here too. Grill and everything is on. Got this mounted up to the chassis. See, it's on this hinge mechanism, so you can open it up. Everything fit really well. It's got a nice, solid latch with the bumper. Like that thing's not going anywhere. It's really good on that carbon fiber chassis. So next, we're gonna build this thing out. So I'm gonna source some parts to put this all together. Shocks, motor, transmission, all that good stuff. And then I'll circle back with you when we've got it all complete. All right, my friends, check out the finished product here. This thing came together so well. I absolutely love the look of this build. I'm actually doing this a little bit backwards because I put it together, I took it out to the favorite crawling spot and I ran it, and I was really having issues with the rear end sitting too high. But thankfully, the RC collective community and the mad scientists that are out there helped me rectify this by flipping the rear body mount here. So it's a little tricky to see here on camera. I'll try to get some close-ups for you, but. The way the instructions, as I recall, tell you to do this makes the body sit up too high. But if you flip it, you get that rear end to sit nice and low. And then using the chassis and the shock positions, you can really sink this thing down. So you'll see in the crawling footage out on the rocks that it actually sat up much higher. But now I've got this thing situated exactly how I want and I'm super pumped with it. It fits extremely well on this chassis and the chassis in turn fit extremely well on the build. So what I ended up doing was pretty much gutting Creamsicle, which is unfortunate, but I've got plans for Creamsicle down the road. But I took the skid plate, linkage, steel drive shafts, the 59 millimeter shocks, basically the whole guts of Creamsicle and put it together here. Also running 
the Endura 370 70 turn brushed motor. Now, if you remember, this brush motor transmission and radio combo came out last year, but it had some issues to say the least. But Endura takes feedback like a champ. And that's really where I think the development of this new MB100 ESC came from was the negative feedback that they received from the radio and receiver combo that came with this motor. Now that we've got the MB100, we can really capitalize on this 370 motor, which is excellent. So I'm really, really glad I was able to hang on to this motor and transmission combo because with the new ESC, it runs extremely well. It's got great low end torque, tons of wheel speed, nice and smooth, and it fits and looks awesome in there. Now the radio I'm running on this, I'm running Endura's new radio too. So you see, I've got their new T6 radio and receiver combo. And excuse my wires, it's a huge mess in here right now. But this is a great combo as well. The receiver's a little bit on the larger side for a mini crawler, but I'm able to just tuck this inside the cab here and get it to close up nice and clean like that. Now I can see the jumbled mess of wires in there, so I need to clean that up. But nonetheless, this thing works extremely well. Check this out. Great slow crawl out of this. Whisper quiet, thing doesn't make any noise. And this motor, got lots of wheel speed, lots of torque. Great combination here. Really, really happy with the drivetrain on this truck. For a steering servo, I'm running the Endura Coreless 11 kilogram servo on here. It's got decent speed. Good enough for this build right now. I might look at upgrading that in the future. Man, I really like this thing. But for now, I'm really happy with this build and how it turned out. The looks are just fantastic. This kit and the cage and everything combined with the one inch wheels and the Swamp Claw tires. I think these are 63, 64 millimeter. Great fit and finished on this thing. I contemplated doing the 1.3 and the 70 millimeter tires. I still might do that, but, oh, I think I, I, I well, that's close. I might get some rubbing, but I may try it just because those would look super rad on here. But in any case, here she is all said and done. Fun little project, very easy to put together. Super clean fit and finish. Lots of bang for the buck here. So why don't we hit the indoor course, see how this thing does, and then I'll show you the rock crawling footage. All right, here we are, the new Endura build on the course. Looks really good, really, really good. I love the design of this body. Slow crawl doing great through there. Swamp Claw tires look great on those beadlock wheels. The whole combination here came out so nice. Those plus four millimeter axles give this thing a great stance. It's a really nice track width. There is some negative offset on those beadlock wheels too, so it does have a fair amount of width. But it just gives the build a really nice character. Great look to this thing. Swamp Claw's doing their thing. Just able to slow crawl up there. Drag brake on this ESC is pretty solid. Turning radius on these axles is good. Don't know if I'm going to, be able to make this drop without doing a. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, the slow crawl saves me there. Now, very nice and controlled on that descent. With the chassis, you've got lots of options for your shock positioning. You can really fine tune how this thing behaves. I'm running two S Traxxas batteries here. Oh, see, this thing has plenty of power. I don't feel the need for three S. 
but I do have that option if I want it, which is great. Understeer pretty bad there, pushed right off the side. Haven't done any weight or anything to these axles. Nice and smooth, still making it up there though, cool. Try some side hill. Like I was saying, I haven't added any brass, nothing. I just bolted those axles on and ran it. It's got no diff covers, no brass knuckles, nothing. I didn't check the weight distribution because I plan on building this thing out, but I'm impressed with how it's performing so far. The extra width giving us a lot of side hill strength there. All right, let's try Hell's Gate. Super clean run up Hell's Gate, very impressive. All right, my friends, I'm really digging this build. I can tell you that it's performing even better now that I fixed that rear end and got the body height down. Really, really like this thing. The looks, the performance, all of it come together so good. Take one more spin up the canyon and then I'll show you guys the rock crawling footage. Very nice. Here we are with the new build out here on Crawler Heaven. Let's see what this thing does. Got my little man out here with me. Really impressed with that Endura ESC combination here. With that 370 motor, this thing has tons of power. Super smooth, torquey off the bottom. Lots of wheel speed if I need it though. So easy to control. That ESC whisper quiet. Very impressive setup here. Some tough sections out here for the minis. We'll see how this thing does, but this is real challenging terrain out here. Big rocks and gaps and obstacles for these little things. Oh, so close. I gotta get those tires to bite. I think we're gonna get it. I gotta get those lugs up there. Oh, made it. Nice. Let me head over to Bicycle Bridge. Let's see what this thing does. This looks fantastic. I love this look of this build. Good job. I knew you could do it. I, I decided to stop at the ginormous rock. I'm glad you did it, buddy. I decided that was going to be my ending spot. Okay. And, Dad, how much time will we have at the, the racetrack? Navigating bicycle bridge pretty well. The track builders made this even more gnarly than usual, but the new Endura build getting through there. That's my spoke. Oh, there we go. It broke out. A 
Look at that. <laughs> nice. Losing daylight here, so I'm trying a couple more obstacles and then we'll pack it up. Having a lot of fun with this thing. I wish I had more time out here. Super gnarly. The ESC and the balanced chassis here is so good. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. We're running out of daylight. I wish I had more time to run this thing. I'm just having so much fun with this truck. Really, really happy with this build and the way it came out. Great looking truck, great performing. The ESC, the motor combo, everything's working really, really well together. So, just a really cool build. So many good parts went into this build, it's hard to focus on just one. The culmination of all these things works so well, and I'm super, super happy with this truck. The IR40 body kit looks fantastic. It's tough, durable, super simple to install, and it's a great way to transform your TRX4M. The chassis kit that it sits on is a great way to reduce sprung weight. It's gonna give you lots of customization options for your build, and it's great that it can work for the high trail, the Bronco, and the Defender. And also worked perfectly with the IR40 kit. The axles that we looked at today, the plus four millimeter axles, gives this thing a great stance, great track width, and nice and stable. They also look fantastic, and it's awesome to have that transverse servo mount, that lay down servo. It is worth noting that these axles with the lay down servo are not compatible with the stock chassis because it doesn't have the clearance to fit the lay down servo mount in between the front rails. I haven't tried that myself, but that's just what Enduro says on their website. Just wanted to note that. I think one of my favorite things about this combo is the electronics. That new MB100, that brushed ESC, for under 30 bucks to get this level of performance, the smoothness, the ultra quiet running of this thing, very, very impressive. So this really transformed the character of this truck and being able to capitalize on that 370 motor with the new ESC, I knew that thing had all the potential in there. Just being able to unlock it now with this new combo, super happy with that. I did end up putting the 70 millimeter tires on there. So I've got them on here right now. I kind of think it's overkill. I don't know, guys, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the 70 millimeter tires versus the smaller swamp claws? I kind of think the one inch wheels and the smaller swamp claws fit the character a little better. But I don't know, these 70 millimeters are gnarly looking on here. But I can already tell this is going to be one of those builds that I'm going to tweak and tune and have a lot of fun with. It was fun to build it, and I think the fun is just starting with this thing. But guys, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the IR40 build? And I'll put the links in the description for all the products that I used on this thing. And remember, you can use my discount code, which I'll put down below as well, to save 5% on all things at Enjura.com. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next video.